Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here today. And files are becoming a lot bigger because quality of videos are getting better. And it's, for somebody like me, being able to export in the highest video quality possible without having to worry about hard drive space is a big deal. Now, I have this MacBook Pro right here and this is a 256 gigabyte um, model and it's just not cutting it for me. I have a lot of files that I have to constantly keep clearing out to make space for my um, for my videos and things like that. So I, I think it's time for an upgrade. And I have been asked in the uh, in the past uh, by uh, some friends and a few family members how I can um, replace the hard drive to make it bigger. Now a lot of times um, these new Macs are coming out with maybe 250 or 215 gigabytes and terabytes of hard drives uh, because files are just getting that much bigger. And manufacturers know that and they want to help us out by giving us better hard drives. So I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the hard drive or the SSD in your MacBook. Now, a lot of you might be thinking that it's gonna be this like rectangular thing like a normal hard drive, but um, it's actually not. It actually kinda of looks similar to a um, uh, RAM stick that you might find in your standard PC. It's about the same size, but instead of it being, you know, maybe an eight gigabyte RAM stick, it's 256 gigabytes of flash storage. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's actually very simple. You don't need a lot of tools. One, you just need a little screwdriver and a few other tools that I'm going to include in the link below if you guys want to check that out if you don't have them already. And the other thing that you're going to need is the replacement or a different kind of uh, flash storage device. Now this is a 3.0 and this is uh, specific specifically to uh, Apple MacBooks. So if you do not have, um, if you have a PC or something else and you're still trying to kind of learn a little bit about this video, um, then you guys will need to get a certain kind of SSD for this because it's not your standard SSD. It's very small, very thin as you guys will see here in a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So let's jump right into it. So one of the tools we're gonna need is a five point pentalobe screwdriver and these are very inexpensive. I got this for around three or four dollars on Amazon and I will leave the link to this uh, product in the description if you guys wanna get this particular one. But all we need to do is remove the 10 pentalobe uh, screws on the back to get into the laptop. Now you wanna make sure that these are separated into the correct um, thing because the two by the black strip can be longer or shorter and you don't wanna damage the laptop. So once you have them all off, just go ahead and crack open the back. Sometimes it does get a little stuck so don't be afraid to kinda yank on it just not too hard obviously but this does look a little uh, kind of scary but this is the only thing we're gonna be worrying about and all we need to do is remove one screw with the six point pentalobe screwdriver and this came with a kit and I will link it in the description below it's great for phone repairs and it's only around 16 bucks so go ahead and start unscrewing the uh, single pentalobe screw it's not magnetic so make sure you keep an eye on it otherwise it could be a disaster but once you have that off just go ahead and gently pull away at the SSD make sure not to pull up or anything you don't want to get that those prongs stuck in the uh, slot otherwise you're gonna run into some issues so just get your replacement part you know these are kind of expensive I think my 512 gigabyte was around $400 uh, that's kind of a lot especially for that much storage you could probably get a four terabyte uh, physical hard drive for around 150 bucks but once you have that inserted uh, go ahead and just screw that back in pretty easy not too much of a big repair so once we're done with this, I just like to kind of clean up, make sure there's no dust or anything. If you are going to clean the fan with some spray, make sure you hold down on the fan head. Otherwise, it could damage it, and you don't want to damage the fan. Otherwise, you could run into some heat issues later down the line. But I just like to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then once you are done with that, you can go ahead and just slap the cover back on and make sure you kind of um, you know push down a little bit so it's pushed down tightly. Um, so these two screws right here, like I said before, they could be longer or shorter. Just kind of take a look and compare them to the others. If they are longer and you put them in the smaller ones, you can damage the MacBook. So make sure you don't do that. But just go ahead and start screwing these back in. I don't really do it in any particular order, but if you kind of believe that you know it should be done in a particular order like car wheels, then go ahead and do it in whichever order you please. Believe it or not, that's it. One of the most easy repairs you will ever find on a MacBook and you're all set. So that's pretty much about it. It's not hard at all. A lot of people just requested this because they're scared to get in their MacBook or PC or whatever. A lot of people are kind of scared that if they open it up, they might break it or do something. And when you have a PC or a laptop that's worth upwards of like $1,500, like my MacBook is, it can be scary for a lot of people. So I figured I'd make this video and try and help you guys out a little bit. I plan on doing a few more MacBook repair videos and things like that. So if you have any other suggestions for me, make sure you comment in, this, comment in the section below and I will try to get to your video. I'm very open to suggestions suggestions, anything you guys might need. I'm pretty good at anything computers, so you know, programming, PC fixes, desktop fixes, whatever, just 
shoot a comment in the section below and I will try to get to your video as soon as I can. And trust me, I'm going to be looking for some video ideas, but I have a ton lined up and I'm really excited. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if it didn't help you or you just don't like it or don't like me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace out. Thanks for watching.